Kicks 103.3, seven minutes after nine o'clock, a sunshiny day. It's Friday. Hmm. Put two and two together. That must mean it's Caldwell Chamber Day. And Mr. Brian Moore is here. Good morning. Yes. A little bit later than normal, but yes. always good to be here. I appreciate you uh, being accommodating so we can have Jason here in yeah, studio that, this absolutely. morning. That's fantastic. And I think he's going to be out doing a live remote a little bit later. He so is. He'll be, he'll be joining us. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And you brought a uh, studio full of folks a with you. A plethora <laughs> of Caldwell's did. finest this morning. And, you know, today... We, we always say the chamber is about strengthening local business, but sometimes local business strengthens itself. Mm-hmm. And we have four competitive restaurants that work in different parts of our community. All came together, and many people that are listening right now have heard of the West Caldwell High School football helmet incident that happened. Right. Not everybody may have known of the heart that sits in this room that helped come together to help solve that challenge for them. And we have four restaurants. There were five restaurants completely. Uh, One of them couldn't join us this morning, but we have uh, some great group of people. I'm going to start with Zach from Chick-fil-A because they kind of birthed an idea and brought together these fine folks. And Zach, tell us a little bit about what the heart was and why you guys came together and why you reached out to these other restaurants. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Brian and Dave, for having us this morning. Um, We really love working with our local high schools, our local high school athletics. So Mm -hmm. uh, when we heard about this really unfortunate news that happened in our community, um, we really realized that we needed to help in some form and fashion. And so the the idea was quickly birthed in our internal leadership. And uh, we were able to reach out to some of our other local restaurant partners. And within a span of about two days, uh, this big Spirit Week campaign uh, uh, was formed to hopefully uh, help ha- help the community buy new helmets for West Caldwell, right. um, which we were able really successful to do. So um, it was a very quick genesis. Uh, we have some great restaurant partners, and it came together really, really quickly. That's fantastic. Thank you for the, the insight on that. So you reached out, Zach, to all these folks. Uh, Darren, I'm going to let you talk a little bit about the Shaken Dog and your restaurant in downtown Lenore and all the things that you were able to put together. And, and tell us a little bit about your heart to support this and like, oh, yeah, I can work with Chick-fil-A on this. Not, not everybody in their right mind would think that all these restaurants could come together and make this happen. Where did your heart come from? Well, we were privileged to be able to be part of this. Um, one of the things that we've done since we've opened has always been to try to be involved with the community. You know, the community has been great about supporting us from day one. So we always want to be able to give back. And when we heard about it, it was, you know, it's kind of heartbreaking things like that happen. But we were really, really excited to be part of the solution and be able to reach out and help with that. And we appreciate Zach and everybody else that came together and involved us and gave us an opportunity to give back as well. That's amazing. Yeah, it's fantastic. We're, we're going to go around the room. Village Inn, Penny, uh, you guys jumped in to mm-hmm. help as well. Yep. You had one of the days of the week. We did. Um, and I think you guys ended up with the chick fil cow even at some of your we restaurants. We did. <laughs> <laughs> Which is just amazing to yeah. think about how yeah. this all came together. Tell us about your heart of the story. Well, you know, we uh, Village Inn has been in the community for years and years yes. and years. We are a small family-run business. Beloved and, part of our community. And uh, we we love that small town feeling and I myself having three sons that played football uh, it really hit home for me mm-hmm. you know and I said from day one that these children should not have to pay for the sins of another mm. and I was so blessed that I was reached out to and we jumped right on board uh, we even had a little dressed up pizza fellow <laughs> that played I saw cow. the pictures <laughs> um, but the thing that really warmed my heart the most honestly was that the night of the fundraiser I had multiple, multiple football players that came in and the coaches came in. So they weren't just sitting back with their hand out, Mm -hmm. you know, accepting funds. They participated in it. They stayed. They communicated with all the the community that came in. And it just warmed my heart. I mean, I was brought to tears multiple times. I had one of my regulars, uh, Donnie, that comes in and put $300 in the donation jar Mm -hmm. at the register. 
you know so it just it was a sense of community Mm -hmm. and I was so blessed to get to meet all these fine folks from all these other restaurants that you know in the restaurant business we don't always get to visit other restaurants because we're busy in ours and it just did my heart so good and even now I'm still getting feedback from the community yeah. of what we did. And, and I I'm truly felt blessed to be part of it. Yeah, that's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. And then uh, April Dennis from Highway 55 also participated in this. And you think of a Chick-fil-A and Highway 55 as major brands, right? But they're local people. These mm-hmm. are my friends that are standing right. in this right. room. They're local business owners and operators as well. April brought the Highway 55 brand here, been with the Highway 55 for a number of years, and brought this to our community. And she lives here, so yeah. she's part of our community. So tell us a little bit about your part of all of this. Yes, I'm blessed to be here with each one of you today, too. Um, exactly what everyone has been saying, it was just truly a blessing. When Mike came in and, and he asked, would we be a part of it it was a no-brainer um, because our you know our feeling is anything we can do to be part of the community that's what we want to be we want to be a center spot for the community to be able to come and to hang out and to do things and to see their family and see their friends and part of our our motto is we love our neighbor and if we're truly going to live by that then whatever the community needs when the community is in need that's when we have to rally together it doesn't matter what we do for a living and i think it was just wonderful that all of us restaurateurs were able to come together have some fun together but also do it for the right reasons and mm-hmm. i think that it just kind of laid the foundation for the future for all of us to see that if you come together you can truly be a blessing in the community and we can do what's right by our kids in the community as well because they are our future and um, we were just honored to be a part of it that's fantastic thank you um Zach, do you want to mention a little bit about JD's, who is also a partner of this, who couldn't be here this morning, but we don't want to leave them out because they're part of this five-day Spirit Week campaign. Yeah, I'm so glad you brought that up, Brian, because JD's were also a very crucial part of this event. Uh, JD's Smokehouse and Game Will, um, unfortunately, they couldn't be here this morning, but uh, they hosted a night. They, um, I believe they ran out of brisket at one point. It was oh, so wow. packed. I mean, <laughs> I, uh, I drove by there on my way home after the cow and I stopped there. I mean, there was cars parking on the street. It was, it was a madhouse there. So uh, they they were a, a real key partner as well. They jumped right on board when we uh, came calling, and they being almost almost across the street from West Caldwell certainly helped. Uh, so there there was a lot of people there. Um, all their staff was really excited to uh, see the community come out and support, and they were able to also financially support this great cause. So um, definitely want to thank the the great folks over at JD Smokehouse in Game Wool. That's fantastic. You know, the great part of this, from my perspective, is is that this is just truly the heart of what our community is. And mm-hmm. Sometimes we see on Facebook or different places that people say, well, there's no place to eat in Caldwell County. Well, I beg to differ. You you go to the places that have heart like this, that come forward to step up and make things happen. And what was really neat was some of the things that happened is that each you, if you guys helped each other's restaurants when you were busy. Yes, that's right. So you guys helped each other not only say, hey, we're going to do this together, but we had each other at the restaurant's respective days of this week and made great things happen. Zach, do you have any um, idea of uh, how successful um, the campaign was and how effective we were to help with Wes Caldwell in this process? Absolutely. So uh, once the campaign concluded, combined with the funds that we raised as five restaurants plus some other anonymous community donations, we were able to fully buy uh, new uh, helmets for Wes Caldwell, and they ended up having some funds left over to do some other upgrades as well. I believe they brought, bought a new ice machine for their, uh, their locker rooms and things like that. So um, it was a very successful campaign, and we really want to thank the people who visited all five mm-hmm. of our restaurants right. they're the real yeah. they're the that's real right. players that's in right. this that's so right. yes. um they they're the ones that are, that really were allowed allowed us to, to buy the new helmets in fact i was just uh, at one of west caldwell's practices earlier this week and got to see those brand new helmets up close and man they are the top of the line helmets they're <laughs> nice. they're awesome the kids love them so um they're 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 really really good and so like i said i i can, I can keep going on and on and on about how humbled and, and uh, astounded we are at the community support in this campaign it's nice to see a, a winning process mm-hmm. happen off of the football field. Yes. So really, really amazing. Yeah, and, th- and that's the thing, I think, you know, because these kids getting ready for the season, yeah. all of a sudden somebody took away an important part mm-hmm. of what they need to be out on the field. And not only did that get replaced because the fantastic community stepped up, they came out to all the spirit nights, you all stepped up to be part of that. But I think it probably really cemented 
for those kids how much the community really does value them, how important they are, and what they mean to the community. So I think that is a, a really great thing that maybe we, you know, nobody was really thinking about that aspect. But I'm sure it, it really cemented that in a lot of their minds and hearts. Absolutely. So, so bringing in a little bit of a football analogy here, the chamber is always a cheerleader for our community. Mm-hmm. But these restaurant owners and operators stepped in and scored touchdowns and caught passes and passed the ball off and made some really amazing things happen. And it's a blessing to be in a community like this. And, and county commissioners, uh, Randy Church, I know you're probably listening, but I want us to have a Caldwell dedicated day where we change the name of Caldwell County to Carewell County because there's so many mm-hmm. caring people here. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You, you know it, you feel it. People hear it when they come into our community. New businesses, new people that relocate here are like, this is a special place. It it's is. because of the people like this that help take a situation and turn it into glory. Mm-hmm. And thanks for all, all of you being here this morning and scoring a big touchdown for West Caldwell and for our community. Yes, thank you so much. And thank you for being here this morning. I appreciate you being part of Spirit Week. That was, it was such a wonderful thing to see. So, so can we do a quick little shout out for each business? So Darren, Absolutely. Tell us, tell us your business, your address, and how people can come to you. And you guys have a special day of the week that you do some really cool things. So share we that do. real quick. We are downtown Lenore, right beside Central Barbershop and next to the stage. Um, we do uh, hot dog Tuesdays, so you can get regular hot dogs for a dollar thirty nine each. Uh, we usually do between eight hundred and thousand hot dogs that Ooh. day. Uh, we're also a uh, top three finalist for best hot dog in the state. We'll know a little Ooh. another four or five weeks how we turned out of that. So fingers stop crossed. By and visit. <laughs> cool. Thank hot. you. We'll have to put that on the map. We'll have to tell that. Absolutely, <laughs> Zach. Yeah, so we're, we're Chick-fil-A on the corner of 321 and 18. Um, want to give a quick uh, quick plug. We're still supporting our local high schools right now. we got our black and blue competition going on. That's so right. um, if you f- f- want to support uh, the high schools even further, um, if you stop in our restaurant between now and next Thursday, uh, buy a Chick-fil-A sandwich and tell the order taker which team you support. Do you support High Bright and do you support West Caldwell? Uh, that counts as one vote. So whoever buys the most chicken sandwiches, uh, whether it be High Bright or West Caldwell, we'll write them another check. So... Uh, oh. Stop by and see us, corner of 18 and 321. And, awesome. and I heard West Caldwell was kind of leading that. Right West now. Caldwell actually has a huge lead right now, <laughs> which uh, it's, it's, it's kind of ironic because High Brighton has, pre- has pretty much won every single year. So uh, if you're a West Caldwell fan, keep, uh, keep up the good work. Yes. That's right. Uh, my name is Penny Harn. I'm the general manager of Village Inn Pizza of Lenore. We're at 1234 Morganton Boulevard. Uh, we have weekly specials, Monday Kids Night, Tuesday Senior Day, and I want to reach out to the community. If you have a church, an organization, a school, we do it Spirit Nights on every Thursday night. Please feel free to reach out to us. We'll be happy to uh, facilitate that for you. Uh, everybody knows Village Inn has been around for decades, Amen. and I have a phenomenal staff, and it, it meshes well with the community. I have a lot of regulars, and a lot of people come up to me and tell me, I worked here when I was 16 years old, and they're in their 50s and 60s <laughs> so they're still supporting village in awesome. we love our community our community excuse me and again i i am truly blessed to be part of 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 this spirit week that we had and i was uh so happy to meet all these other um restaurateurs thank you so much thank you April Dennis at Highway 55. We're located at 1095 Hickory Boulevard, right on 321 in front of Lowe's. Uh, and we also, same thing as Penny, I did not realize that we kind of match up on several things. We do a kids' night on Tuesday night where we invite the community to come in. We have characters every Tuesday night. Kids eat for half price. And we have a great time. We always do some crafts with the kids. It's a great time for the kids just to come in and be kids in a very mm-hmm. safe environment. And also for the parents to kind of mingle together and and uh, have fun. And then on Wednesday night, we have a senior night as well. Seniors 60 and above get to come. And I'm in that category now. <laughs> <Woo-hoo>! <laughs> um, they get to eat for 5:55 on Wednesday nights. And we also do some fun things with the seniors. About once a quarter, once every two months, we bring in some uh, local people from the area to entertain. Um, we had the West Caldwell, um, or excuse me, Caldwell County Jam Session with us, which is young kids that are coming out and playing playing music and we've also had some Elvis impersonators come in so we have a lot of fun doing that and then we also um 
have that love your neighbor feel. So if there's something going on in your community that we can help you with, we do a lot of spirit nights in church for churches and schools. And if there is a special event going on in the community that somebody needs a helping hand, we'll see what we can do to raise some funds for them. You can use our TV screen as well to promote some local things that you have going on in the community. We want to make sure that TV that's running in our um, lobby reflects our community. So if there's something going on that you would like for us to share with our community, just let us know and we'll be glad to post it up for you. Awesome. Fantastic. Well, thank you, everybody, for coming in. Uh, Brian, always good to hear hear from you on the Friday. So we'll we'll plan on doing it next week, as we always do. But uh, back to the normal time. Are you good with that? That's right. Yeah, I'll be be here at 8 next week. (laughs) Well, everybody have a wonderful uh, Labor Day weekend. There's our Kicks Morning Chat.